Now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hook up. Get ready for more of the best fishing information and have the hottest tips on improving your angling skills. Let's talk hook up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. And by Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. And now, Southern California's sports fishing voice, the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Welcome back. Hour number two. Let's talk hook up right here on Let's Talk Hook Up and the mightier 1090. Pete Gray here with Rock Rick Max and the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hook Up with Rob Butler from Cito or Boat Towboat US. Towboat US. Oops. Um, Towboat US and, and uh, having a good time talking about all. I mean, we have just scratched the surface with Rob and all the things he does for Towboat US. Yeah, this is, this is great. Yeah, going to be a, a fun show. So many more questions to come. And if you want to join us in the second hour, 213 to 1090 again 213-432-1090 that's how you reach us here at let's talk Hookup. or keep those texts coming i mean we've already got more texts and phone calls than than we can stand and we're, we're just more excited to have more to come so another full hour coming your way text us give you the let's talk hook up app or give us a call 213-432-1090 as promised it's time to find out what's biting out there it is time for the catch report and today our fishdope.com report is sponsored by hey it's time it's that hot ticket for local yellowfin to it has been the Gamakatsu Nautilus Circle Hooks. There's no doubt about it. The brand new sizes in two and four are perfect for those finicky yellowfin and bluefin when you got to use a small hook and light line to get a bite. From the Nautilus Light to the regular wire Nautilus or the Nautilus HD, having the ability to choose the right circle hook and the right gauge of wire is key. For Gamakatsu Nautilus, that choice is going to give you the confidence that you know you have the finest hooks ever made. Stock up on Gamakatsu Nautilus hooks at selected tackle stores. We're going to start off. Off our catch report uh, with our private boater buddy, our fishdope.com reporter, Captain Mark Wish is on the line. Good morning, Mark. Hey, good morning, Ricky. Good morning, Pete and Rob. Hey, Mark. So uh, here we go, guys. We got something new to talk about. Another lobster season just kicked off, what, like two hours and five minutes ago. <laughs> and uh, based on all the lobster cards and beer we sold this week here, it's really going to be busy tonight. So it, it's probably just in time, too, because it's starting to feel like our Offshore season is winding down, so uh, hopefully that yellowfin down in that 425, 371, 390 in Knoll zone, it gets back on the on the program there. It was pretty good fishing early in the week, and uh, kind of took a day off yesterday. Definitely a down day, so uh, maybe this went down for a day. We'll see. But it's sure interesting to uh, look at the water temp and coral charts on fish dope. It was very easy to see why those fish were. Uh, in that little sector where they were there with the way the brakes are lining up. Shots like those are worth the uh, cost of membership, guys, for sure. Outside, pretty much the only game in town for that tuna fish, bigger tuna fish, is out on the Tanner Bank there. We had, unfortunately, a very big swell and quite a bit of breeze on it there for a couple, three days like that. And uh, conditions are definitely changing, for sure. Plenty of catchable still in the shallows up there, you know, 30 to 50, 60, 70s like that. But uh, definitely a lot less word on the big fish here in the last couple of days. And, again, like the inside, maybe it'll bounce right back. Uh, it's been pretty darn consistent for a long time, so we'll see. And uh, at Clemente, not too much coverage here this week. Most of the guys are fishing uh, outside there. The only reports I had were uh, some yellows, mid-sized yellows in the front side middle of the island there. At Catalina, you know, a couple of days ago, I heard one of the really old-time sport boat guys with a lot of experience fishing that island. He says, it feels like winter is starting to come early this year. And, you know, maybe so. Uh, it's been very, very consistent, but definitely starting to slow down. Uh, but that's okay, because as soon as that water cools a little bit more and a little bit more squid shows up, it's game time on that deep water yellow, the big flat halibuts. And, of course, my favorite, that white sea bass. And then also when the water cools a little bit, we get a little better cod fishing, which I may do a little recon on tomorrow. Be interesting to see if those snappers will like to bite some of those fancy bluefin tuna jigs I've got. <laughs> yeah, there you there. go. Can't catch a bluefin yeah. on them. I will catch a snapper on it. Yeah. Well, we might look at them snapper spots uh, early and then swim around and take a look and see if we can find a porpoise and maybe catch a a lost yellowfin up here or something. It's going to um, happen. But, 
yeah, you know, it could happen. And, God, the last couple of years, we had phenomenal yellowfin fishing in October and November all the way to Thanksgiving. So uh, hopefully this little downturn is uh, nothing more, and that stuff pops right back up. So we'll see what happens. And I want to wish good luck to all the guys out there in that War Heroes on the Water tournament. They're fishing today and uh, spread out in every direction imaginable. And what an amazingly wonderful program Anthony Shea and everybody has put together for those war heroes. So best of luck to all those guys, and that's this week's report. For sure. And also uh, good luck to all the people in the ILTT Marlin Club Tournament, too, this weekend. So uh, good luck to those guys down there at the Marlin Club and, and of course, uh, the War Heroes on Water, too. That's such a great program and a lot of great captains uh, involved in that, too. So, uh, of course, fishdope.com, Danny and the boys have had all the information for you. It's critical you have it right now. 20 bucks off a new membership to fishdope.com using the code HOOKUPNOW. Lowercase, no space. Hookup now is your twenty dollar code. And Mark, how do we find you? <laughs> you know, Pete, we're we're in Huntington Beach. We're on the corner of Bolsa Chica and Edinger. Phone number at the store is area code seven one four eight four zero four two six two. The website Pacific Edge Tackle dot com, where we got pictures of all the great stuff we do, plus the bait tanks. We got a brand new flat back sixty gallon tank. I'm picking up the first one out of the mold tomorrow, so we'll have some pictures of that up shortly. Sweet. So, uh, yeah, stay in touch, guys. All right. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate that. And we'll talk to you, hopefully, a lot more good stuff next Saturday. Oh, we'll make something out of nothing if we have to. <laughs> no problem. But, right, yeah. Mark. No, it'll, it'll be good. We'll see you guys. Oh, yeah. I think approaching that new moon, those big ones are going to bite. Oh, man. yeah. No, no doubt about it. I think next week we'll be talking plenty of big oh, fish. Oh, yeah. No for doubt sure. about it. All right. Well, hey, while we're waiting for our buddy Marcos from the radio to join us, we're going to continue on. we got a packed full of phone calls let's next up talk to brian brian's calling us from san diego this morning good morning brian welcome to let's talk hook up good morning guys thanks for having me on the show thanks brian hey quick quick question for rob uh, i co-own a uh, parker with three other uh guys and we're all it's a legit we're on the pink slip all in the insurance what's the what's the best way to get our tow boat coverage for all of us to cover you know, if one of us are on the boat, um, you know, or just uh, if we all four go out together for a trip. Good question. Yeah. Um, doesn't matter. One person, one person has the membership. You all own the boat. So it's covered. You don't need to buy it. Each, each individual person does not need one. Um, but if the person oh, that has the membership is not on the boat, then you need, then the other guy needs one. He owns the boat. The owner, if I own my boat. If you and I are partners in the boat, and I have the membership, you're covered. The boat's oh, covered. covered. The boat okay. is cut. Co- the boat the itself, boat is, itself covered. is covered. So what you want to do is, when you do your membership, you want to make sure you have your. You could do this on the on our app. We have a the Boat US app. You want to make sure that your vessel is actually properly logged into the system. That way, when your buddy or one of your partners go out and uh, and needs needs assistance, the the numbers match. You know, it's a 24 Parker, but you can also call Boat US and have them. Act. We used to give two cards out for one membership, and I think they did away with that because we. It's all internet now. Everything's emailed here and emailed there. But the bottom line is, is if you have three partners, now let's just be very clear. This is for, for pleasure vessels. This is not for charter vessels. So if you guys are running a six pack charter or a four pack charter, um, that's a commercial operation, and that's not what this is for. This, we're pro, mm-hmm. we're pleasure boat towers, um, but. You're covered regardless of who has the membership, and all you need to do is tell the tell the dispatcher, it's my boat, and they're going to say, well, your partner's the well, yeah, he's a partner with me, but it's my boat. Uh, I can just let, let me just chime in because I I am that guy, you know, yeah. my my boat partner and I, Neil, we have a 25 Parker together, and both of our names are listed on that account. Yeah. I mean, okay. in it and one we, membership. Yeah, 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 we have one membership, one membership for our boat that we own e- equally. Both of our names are are on that piece of paperwork. It was there was nothing to it. It was yeah. super super easy, and you know, and, you know, we knock on wood, we haven't really needed to use it. But uh, oh, that's yeah. not true. We 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 had a tow one time, and it was just it was nothing. You know, yeah. one of us was on the boat, the other wasn't. It was no big deal. We're not gonna we're not not going to argue i mean you tell me that you're a member and it's your buddy's membership and it's your boat uh, our job isn't to sit there and police you our job is to get you in safely and get you back on your trailer or back to your slip so there you go you're covered all right hey thanks a lot for the call this morning a nice text here i'm a boat us member i also 
have a Geico insurance customer towing through my my towing is through my insurance. I was told I cannot get a tow in Mexican waters. I was told Boat US doesn't go into Mexican waters. Is that true? That is one hundred percent incorrect. Yes. We cover a hundred no miles. We we were just there yesterday. Uh, <laughs> we cover to a hundred miles south of Point Loma, which is just about calling at. Um, and your Geico policy now, real quick on your Geico policies and any insurance policy you buy, please read your read your policy. Make sure you have a Mexican endorsement. I have on my private boat. I have a Geico insurance, obviously. Um, and no, I didn't get a discount, um, <laughs> but it's affordable. It's affordable insurance. But um, the the Mexican in- endorsement, I don't believe costs any money. But it has to be on your policy. You got to make them make yes, aware because it's a foreign country, and you know you, if you have Geico car insurance, the second you cross San Ysidro, you're not covered. Right. Yeah. You need Mexican insurance. You don't need Mexican insurance, but no, we tow we tow 100 miles south. You are covered in Mexico. We do have to go through customs once we tow you um, because we're a commercial hovering vessel. But yes, you are covered in Mexican waters. So. Um, so uh, if you have a GEICO policy, you can also get a discount on a towboat U.S. membership, so too, right? So if you have a gold card or if you have a membership and GEICO insurance, um, you, you're actually a little redundant. You can get a GEICO endorsement to- for towing, which if your vessel's under 40 feet is $48 a year. If your vessel's over 40 feet, it's $84 a year. This is a single policy, meaning it only covers the boat you're insured with. It doesn't cover doesn't you cover on your buddy, boats. and you know, it's right. not the membership thing. Just that. This boat. is actually towing insurance for Geico. The membership covers you. If you have multiple boats. It, it makes sense. Or if uh, if you you know you travel, travel boats out, yeah. Um, but no, with Geico policy. So if you have if you have a membership and a Geico policy, uh, call your agent, um, call boat you or call Geico up and tell them you want to you want to get the uh, Geico towing endorsement. Okay. So another, another technical question here. You said you don't cover, you only cover pleasure craft. You don't cover commercial craft. What if somebody, uh, like there's a lot of guys that have commercial uh, fishing permits to harvest tuna or whatever on their pleasure craft. What is the, is that kind of a gray area there? I got to think about that one. So, the problem with commercial, the commercial policy, and we had it for decades, is uh, we were becoming fuel stops for lobster guys out at San Clemente. Uh-huh. Um, the guys out on the East Coast would, a delivery guy would say, hey, I'll, I'll bring your boat from Miami to West Palm and I'll cover the fuel. They get off of uh, the Miami light and all of a sudden they're getting towed in, not spending any money on fuel. They don't care. They're, doing, mm-hmm. they're going up the Gulf Stream. They're doing eight and a half knots, probably fishing. And uh, it it was, and then the you know it just caused a lot of problems. Commercial, right. yeah, the commercial, you know, and 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 with insurance, it's all about risk. And the more exposure, the more risk. And commercial boats go out more. That being said, if you got your Parker or you're doing stuff, and and you got your your FG numbers because you want to sell a bluefin, it's still your private boat. Okay. If you're running a six pack charter boat or a four pack off your boat, that's a different different story, story. right? Because you're but running... if you got an FG number and you're just you're, yeah. you're, you're selling your bluefin, you're, yeah. Then yeah, you're you're covered. And, and you know, as long as you're privately fishing, uh, when you break down, and you make you have sure a group of customers pri- on the boat. As long as you're privately fishing when you broke down, you know. Again, I'm not in the business to sit here and I'm yeah. not a detective. I'm a towboat operator, right. and I just want to get you in. But well said. All right. Yep. That, that that answers the question yeah, right there. Totally. Hey, let's continue with that catch report. Find out what's going on over at Sea Fourth Sport Fishing. Talk to our buddy Marcos. Marcos, what's going on there at landing? Good morning, guys. How's everyone doing? Great. Great. How's the fishing? Uh, definitely a little tougher over the last couple of days. I'm not unusual for you know, like we talk about catching all those bluefin and yellow and drado on those one days and the full days even a little bit. Good fishing earlier in the week, a little tougher the last couple of days, but overall still seeing that mix of bluefin, some great yellowfin fishing. Earlier in the week, San Diego on one of their full-day trips had five bluefin, 165 yellowfin, and just the same amount of skipjack to go with that. So hopefully we can get right back on the ball there for those full days, the day and a half, the longer trip. See more of that stuff. Still catching yellowfin, skipjack, yelltail, a little bit of bluefin in the mix. Half day, still very good fishing on there for those bottom fish and the calico bass popping up there still. So 
Like I said, a little downtime over the last couple of days there, with the weather getting a little bit warmer out there and the boat's still out, I'm sure they're going to pick right back up on that. So definitely check out the website, seaforthlanding.com. That's a schedule up there for all of our trips, the half days, the full days, one day, day and a half, those longer trips. You can make your reservation straight online. You can always give us a call at the office, 619-224-3383. More than welcome to come down, visit us in person, check out the tackle shop. And if you've been fishing a lot this year, get that gear tuned up because that's something we're still going to see some more fishing here once things settle back down. Oh, yeah. No question about it, Marcos. And uh, time to not time to put them away yet. It's still There's still plenty of fish that's to right. be caught. All right. I don't think so. Yeah. I think uh, October's been one of our best months for a while here, and I see more of that. Yeah. For sure. All right, Marcos. Nice to hear from you from C Fourth. And uh, hey, we'll, uh, we'll. I'll bet next week you're going to have a full report of wide open bite and fish. How's that sound? When I'm booking tickets, I'll tell them Pete guaranteed good fishing this week. So <laughs> okay. make your reservation. Like All right. All right. Marcos. Thanks, Marcos. Appreciate Talk to you, Dad. Talk to you next week. <laughs> All right. That's going to wrap up our catch report today. Hey, hands and knives, handcrafting knives in the USA for over three decades. Check out the Fish Pro series and the custom bluefin and yellowfin from Ands and Knives. They're made from high carbon steel, which holds a great edge, and they're easy to sharpen. Ands and Knives are the finest fillet knives ever produced. Anza also offers knives for military, law enforcement, and hunting. Check AnzaKnives.com for more details and get the Fish Pro series available at Fisherman's Processing. Interesting text from Mike in Oceanside about the technicalities of that hundred mile captain's card and home port definition. Okay, his boat's in Oceanside, so if he's way south, if he's 50 miles from San Diego or 80 miles from San Diego, he'd be technically within 100 miles of San Diego, but not technically 100 miles from his home port. What's the story on that? Um, Let me just real quick, uh, you accidentally uh, mentioned the other company. Oh, sorry. No, don't be sorry. Yeah. They're a great company. Greg over there runs a great operation. Make sure you have one of our memberships. Yeah. I don't care which one you got. Just be covered. Anyway, getting back to that question, yeah. it's covered 100 miles from the tow boaters operation. So if you're, 100 mile, if you're 80 miles south of San Diego, I could tow you 100 miles north of San Diego. Mm. So technically, if you're in Huntington Beach and you got under the, let's call it, uh, just north of Colonnette, I could tow you back to Huntington Beach. So as your home port, being in the ocean side, uh, you kind of have the best of all worlds. You've right. got you got Catalina and Avalon, you know, twenty eight miles west of you. You've got Ocean Side, which has a boat right in Ocean Side. You've got Dana Point, which is just north of you. You've got a slew of towers up there, and then you've got you know our, all of our boats here in San Diego. So you're going to out of everybody in the Ocean Side, it's probably got the best coverage as far as. Who's going to come get you? You're right. going to get one of us pretty darn quick because mm-hmm. it doesn't matter which direction you go. You're going to have an operation. So if you're 80 miles south of San Diego, your home port's in Huntington Beach. With the captain's card, you're going to go home to your with home port. With the gold card. With yeah, the gold, with the, go- the gold, gold card. card. Yeah, the, the gold ca- card. captain's card will get you no. back to San Diego. Well, no, it won't. Captain's card, 40 miles south. Yeah. Um, so but let's the, see. The gold card will get you back to yes. Huntington Beach to your home port or Oceanside or whatever. And it's not like you're not going to get towed home. There's just going to be an, an additional fee beyond your coverage. Yeah. So basically, the way that works is if you if, if you have and you know sometimes some people with these smaller whalers that like stretching it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you have a, a small whaler, let's let's say you got about twenty one foot foot a uh, twenty one foot whaler, and you have the captain's card. Uh, it's actually called the unlimited card. I call it captain's card because the vessel assists. Yeah, same. Anyway, um, so you go beyond 40 miles. Uh, you have $2,500 of towing. Yeah, I can tow a 21-foot boat about 50, 55 miles out back to San Diego for that. For, right. With my hourly rate. You know, there, there's an hourly cost involved, but um, you're still better off getting the gold card just because if the weather gets rough, we have to tow you slow. Um, you know, we do have the customs thing. If you go down to Mexico, we got to clear customs. That takes time. And the charges are, you know, we, we, we charge whether it's Boat US or the customer um, portal to portal from the time our boats start up to the time they shut down. I still say, no matter what, it is the cheapest thing you are going to buy for your boat. It's 30, for, for, I mean, yeah. it's just, it's, it's such yeah. a no brainer. Like, I loved what you read, the text you read. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, 
Hadn't had, used it in 10 years, yeah. and it paid for itself with that one, one toe. He needed it one time in 10 years, yep. and it paid for all of his years of membership. Yeah. It's, it's a I have, no, I've had one of those. Yeah. It's a no-doubter. <laughs> and yeah. things things happen. No matter, how, no matter how prepared you are, you suck up a bag uh, offshore. You, you, you know, somebody else Run is driving kelp pad, whatever. Th- yeah. Things, you, you got, you know, you had bad fuel. Like, I mean, you, your boat can be completely prepared. You, you can be completely heads up but things just happen and this is your get out of jail free card yep there's only there's only a 30 dollar difference between the unlimited and the gold card that's a no-brainer i mean you're talking about a what a half scoop of bait (laughs) exactly and that's for a year but you know getting back to things can happen okay i've been towing for most my all my life my adult life i i was out with my hydro sports uh chasing the fish around and I ran out about 25 miles off. We got into this uh, Dorado, and I had my cousin with me who didn't really know how to fish very well. Got wrapped around the boat with the Dorado. We wrapped up one of the wheels on, on one of my motors, so I shut it down. Didn't think about it. Lifted the motor. Used the other two motors to get the get back on the paddy because everybody's chasing the paddy. And we're sitting there, and my brother guessed one, my cousin guessed one, and I'm kind of deckhanded for them. And I'm looking at the line wrapped around the wheel trying to figure out how bad it is and stuff. And it, uh Finally, I start wrapping around. Well, my one motor shuts down, then the other motor shuts down. Go to turn the keys, nothing. Ooh. I have maintenance crews. I've got, I do all my maintenance. Yeah, maybe. sure. This is what you do. Moral of the story is never trust a battery over three years old. I don't care if it's an AGM. I don't care if it's a uh, lead acid. I had voltage in my batteries, and I always have it into a, a battery charger. But I have no amperage. And running your, I'm running my, my, my big Simrad. I'm running my stereo. I'm running the bait well. Yeah. Um, and Make sure I, your batteries are good. I had all I had all the voltage in the world, but no amperage out there. And, and you start idling around for 20, 30, 40 minutes, those alternators aren't putting the juice back into the battery like they should have been running. So, yeah, uh, yeah, don't trust a battery over three years old. The, That's good, good, good advice. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Let's let's go ahead and jump back on the phone. You got it, man. And how about this time we talked to Todd? Todd's calling us from Coast Mesa this morning. Good morning, Todd. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, how's it going today, guys? Great show. Hey. Rob, Pete, Rick. Hey, man, great show. I always lo- lo- love listening to this one. Hey, I just got a quick comment and a question. Um, I, uh, uh, a, a private boat owner, a, a number of years back, was leaving out of uh, Sunset Aquatic. Uh, you know, it was uh, four in the morning, so it was dark, and I had my wife and kids on board, and I get right outside the breakwater, and the boat starts to overheat. And uh, so I, you know, being a new boat owner, what do you do? You shut the boat off, and uh, I go to throw the anchor, and it's rough. It's man, it's rough, right? Right, coming out of the harbor, and so I kind of started to drift a little bit towards the uh, the breakwater wall. Well, I, I got it. I got it secure. I get on the horn. I call Toto Boat US. My wife and kids are starting to freak out. Panic start to set in because I'm. I'm having to manage the kids and the wife, but it's going to be okay. And I'll tell you what, that those Tobo U.S. guys, they came out from, I think, Los Alamitos, and they were there in 10 minutes. I don't know if they could hear the fear in my voice or what have you. We were getting kind of <laughs> close cool. to the rocks. But, uh, hey, all props off to those guys. Hey, my question is this. It, you know, a lot of the times you sleep at night in, in your, your uh, Catalina or San Clemente, and, and you know, one of the thoughts that goes into my head is, Hey, if the anchor were to drag and I were end up on the rocks or anything like that were to happen, I got I got Tobo US. Rob, can you talk about um, when it becomes a salvage operation and what are the limitations if if you do get caught up on the rocks? Does Tobo US come out and pull you off the rocks and, and get you out of there? Our Tobo US membership covers what's called soft grounding. Soft groundings are inside harbors. Once your vessel takes on water or once your vessel uh, ends up on the beach or the rocks, uh, that becomes a salvage situation. That flips off of the towboat U.S. membership onto your insurance, and this is a very important thing with your insurance. Everybody should read their insurance. I don't care if it's your house, your car, your horse, your boat. Uh, read your policy. See what the coverages are because some insurance companies will only cover 500 to to $1,000 of emergency services, whether it's a tow or a salvage. And I'm not a broker. I don't sell insurance. I really don't care who everybody has, just as long as they got insurance. Um, that's why we're a big proponent with GEICO. Um, in that particular case, and I'll be as honest as I can, if you call GEICO, you're covered. 
We and you got a, you got your proper proper Geico policy. policy. But, we, but that would be considered a salvage, not a, a, not a soft is, grounding. That is a salvage, not a soft grounding. If you're if you're off Gunpowder Point or or you drift up into the shoal up in uh, you know going into Huntington Harbor, uh, if you're inside the harbor, and we don't need a diver and we can pull you off with one boat with the tide, it's it's that's part of the coverage. Once we get into pumps, float bags, divers, um, especially when you're talking about rocks, and sometimes if you're on rocks inside the harbor, it could be it, it could be construed as salvage. Also, the point is, is once there's damage to your boat, um, even the slightest damage where your boat becomes in peril, um, salvage kicks in, and that's where your insurance company kicks in. And, and again, just make sure you got the proper coverage. All right. Yeah, Very great. good. Good well info. Again, Thanks yeah. a lot for the call, and uh, glad they saved you. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. <laughs> hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls, more great information, and we're going to check in with our buddy Ryan from Adventures in Camping. We've got more Let's Talk Hookup. You stay tuned. It's Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090. This is Rock Cod Rick for Adventure in Camping, where they bring the adventure to you. If you enjoy camping in the eastern Sierra but don't own an RV or a trailer, or simply don't want the hassle, let Adventure in Camping park it for you. It's simple. Check out their website, adventureincamping.com, select from over 75 campgrounds they serve, decide on a trailer floor plan that fits your needs, request a quote for your desired vacation dates, then just show up and start your adventure. Dallas and I did exactly that, and it was incredible. We chose a beautiful mammoth area campground, Adventure in Camping delivered the trailer to our spot, we showed up, enjoyed a clean, spacious trailer without any of the hassle. When it was time to go home, we just closed the door and drove away. It doesn't get any easier. If you enjoy camping in the Eastern Sierra but don't want the hassle, Adventure in Camping is for you. Check out adventureincamping.com for details. Make sure to mention Rock Cod Rick sent you for a special 20% off offer, but this special won't last long, so go to adventureincamping.com today. Saturday, November 6th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego, and it's our largest sale ever. Plenty of seminars by saltwater experts, over 20 reps from tackle manufacturers like Shimano. Come check out the Shimano Talica, the pinnacle of lever drag two-speed reels. The Talica features Shimano's Hagani body to prevent misalignment of moving parts under the heaviest loads. When throwing jigs, the Shimano Trinidad is your top choice. For the best ever tackle bargains, check out Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 6th. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet. Fisherman's Landing offers half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day trips on the Liberty. Many trips can be easily booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. For quality, the Islander out of Fisherman's Landing is a favorite among anglers. But Islander Charter is much more than great fishing. They also do incredible Guadalupe white shark diving trips, as well as a schedule of kayak mothership trips. Check out islander-charters.com. The Islander is San Diego's leader when it comes to one and one half to five day fishing. Experience the Islander difference. Visit islander-charters.com for all the details. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges, how do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hookup listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target. The expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfisherchargers.com. 
For your next fishing adventure, check Point Loma Sport Fishing. They offer half-day trips on the daily double and full-day trips on the Mission Bell every day. Perfect for novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips on the American Angler, Vagabond, Intrepid, Independence, New Loan, T-Bird, Game Changer, and more. Visit PointLomaSportFishing.com where you can purchase tickets online. Want to go fishing? Point Loma Sport Fishing has you covered. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook. I'm having a great time this morning talking all kinds of great stuff with Rob from Towboat US. It's been a great show. Yeah, a really good show. So one thing that we haven't covered yeah. is safety. Uh, oh, actually, you know, before we t- cover that, uh, we've got our good buddy Ryan Dorr from Adventure and Camping on the line. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, guys. How you doing? Hey, What's up, Ryan? doing terrific. What's going on up in the eastern Sierra? Well, I tell you what. We got some amazing fall colors going on up here right now. Oh. So cool, cool nights, beautiful days. This is like my favorite time of year. If you, if you just wait to come up, you got a few more weeks and awesome fishing up here. Uh, there is actually year round fishing up here. Um, but as far as uh, camping goes, we got a few more great weeks. Uh, you know, not a whole lot of crowds up here. Beautiful weather. You get that super cold in the morning. Uh, so you get up, you get that awesome coffee going at your at your campsite, and then you, the, the days can get up into the 70s. It's just great. Oh, this it's, is this is it. It's the best I mean, time I mean, of the year. Pete, Pete was the one that turned me on to the whole thing in that time of year. That it, it this is this is when you go. Yeah, the the fishing is the best. The, the weather is just fantastic. Perfect. Crowds are gone. Crowds are gone. Yeah, yeah this, it this is, is really it. great. So adventure and camping is still in operation, and and they can come up and get. Basically, have your custom camper delivered to your favorite spot in the Eastern Sierra, and there's actually opportunities to get into these campgrounds right now, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. In fact, uh, we had one of your listeners uh, call uh, just a couple days ago. They're coming up, I think, think this week. So, uh, yeah, basically, uh, we'll bring a trailer out. We, we still have we have actually um, trailers open over the next couple of weeks while we're in operation. And this is absolutely it, um, Pete. Like you said, this is the time of year where you can you can get that campsite that you can't normally get in July or August. You can so we'll bring a trailer out to you, set it up, and show you how it works, and then haul it away when you're done. You can drive up with your own car, not towing, not having any of the hassle. Drive up, and you can have a trailer that's set up, ready to go, generator ready, the whole nine, uh, at a campsite, tr- creek running right outside, you know, 20 feet outside your door with... Rainbow trout and brook trout, and you step out the door, you go catch a fish, you, you know, it, it's perfect. If it's hot in the daytime, you kick on the air conditioner, you're done after hiking all day, you take a hot shower. I mean, it's just, it's everything convenient-wise with, with literally without any hassle. I mean, it's just all set up for you. And then we always say the very best thing, which everybody knows that's on any type of camping trip out there, when the trip is over... You leave your keys on the table and you drive home. That's yeah. it. There's nothing left. It's yeah. such a killer service. Fall colors, great fishing, perfect time to get in the campground. How long are you going to stay open, Rob? Or, uh, we are open Ryan. another uh, two weeks. <clears throat> uh, we the, Our last weekend um, that we are in operation is the uh, weekend of the 16th, 17th, and 18th. And then uh, we then we close it up and, and uh, put everything away get ready for next season. Okay, so awesome. if somebody wants to take advantage of these last couple of weeks, perfect time to go to the Eastern Sierra and use Adventure and Camping. How do we do it? Best way to do it, go on our website, adventureandcamping.com. Um, very uh, useful website. We have all the campgrounds we serve on there, all our trailer models. We give you a price out the door. Or you can call us at 760-935-4890. And, you know, if you mention Let's Talk Hookup, you get a deal, too. So Yes, you do. Think- they always take really good care of our listeners. So take advantage of it. Adventure and camping, the absolute best time to go to the Eastern Sierra. Take advantage of fabulous fall fishing and fabulous fall colors and a fantastic operation. Ryan Dord, thanks very much. Appreciate all you do. And, uh, man, I'm going to try to figure out how I can get up there in the next couple I know. weeks. Yeah, right. do it. <laughs> Got to do so, it. Well, hey, thanks for having me on the show, guys. And uh, It's been a great time. It's been a great summer. A couple weeks left. Come up and see us. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Great. All right. Adventureandcamping.com. You can link that, of course, on the Let's Talk Hookup links page, too. But uh, such a great operation. Yeah, go do Just that. Just go do that. If you're looking for something to do the next couple of weeks, 
This is it. It, it is. It, it, I mean, I know we talk about it on the radio, and that's what our job. But I assure you, it is that hassle free. I mean, yeah. I, I've done it a bunch. Dallas and I go a couple of times a year. We use that service. Just the. And I was a guy. I was a big desert guy. I towed a big toy hauler. I mean, I know the whole drill. And it is so nice to have. He has this very high end equipment that is just perfect, and it is just set up for you. There's no no level, no tow, no stopping for fuel, no where am I going to get an easy in and out when I got to get on the road, no gutting up the grade behind a truck that's moving slow like there is just no hassle and it's set up in no the most, white knuckle driving it's so nice yeah. you, you're just so relaxed when you get there you have a cold one you enjoy some fishing and killer scenery and big trees and go on a hike i, I love it it's okay. a it's a great sign service. me up i know right? okay, let's go. <laughs> totally. hey um, I, I was starting up on on safety so one of the things that we should talk about because you've seen it all on the water rob and that is what kind of safety equipment is essential on different sized boats, in your opinion? Uh, I think the personal locator beacon is the most important piece of equipment anybody can have. If you're it doesn't matter inshore, offshore. I don't care if you're in a kayak. Really? Yeah, personal locator beacon. So a regular, like a personal e. The little PLBs, uh, ACR yeah. makes them. Um, yeah. All my guys are required to carry them. Um, that's not what I would have thought you, you would have said. Yeah. And I mean, it's such a smart thing. You're, you're, you know, that's coming from that's, the, that's the, the tow professional. Uh, bottom line is when that thing goes off, there's a ping that's coming to you. Yeah. Whether, I mean, there's, a, there's so many different scenarios that can happen that it may or may not be a, a, a successful outcome. But So your VHF radio is not your best friend. It's your... It's a very, very, very good friend. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> But that ACR is the, the e- yeah. personal e perp. If you're if you're sitting in a if you're sitting in a lifeboat or in the water in a you know with right. your life jacket on, calling on the radio, VHF radio is line of sight, and um, the Coast Guard has this Rescue Twenty One system that I actually help test. And uh, sorry, somebody's but, wants, somebody wants a tow. <laughs> no, it's, it's probably it's probably Steve wanting to sell me home solar. So anyway, um, so we I helped test the Rescue Twenty One system. In fact, I've been in every single harbor in the United States, Hawaii, Guam, and Puerto Rico wow. with my boats doing this. Um, but as good as that program is, you're only as good as line of sight. And if you're on a handheld radio at a foot off the water, and there's any type of atmospheric conditions it's not a guarantee that they're going to be able to ping in on your location. Okay. When that, when then that, when then that PLB goes off, that's an EPIRB signal and that's going to get assets to you quicker. Now the handheld radio is very important. Communication is everything that, that, you know, if you're in a boat, you have to have a VHF radio. If you don't have a VHF radio, don't go out in the ocean period. Um, I wouldn't even go out in the Harbor because cell phone coverage, once you were in the water, especially with the Mexican yeah. towers, um, point, be. point Loma is a no cell zone. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I've been offshore 30 miles and had cell, cell signals. I've been offshore two miles and no signal no, at all. Yeah, sometimes you phones work a debate receiver. Yeah. yeah. Do not rely on a cell phone. Um, VHF is essential. VHF. And spend the money. They're not much more money than a handheld. Buy a, a 25 watt solid mount radio plugged into your batteries because a handheld radio i don't care how good it is it's only five watts six watts now i believe as they got some and i guarantee you just like your cell phone you really need it the battery is going to die yeah keep something plugged in and you know have the be- you know the best coverage you can get is uh is you know a, a west marine or you know a cobra vha radio, the cheapest one they make with a 60 b shakespeare and now you've got solid coverage. Now if the Coast Guard calling you, when they talk to you, they can triangulate, they can help pin you. Um, obviously, you want a GPS, uh, not one on your phone, although they're pretty accurate. You know, even if you just buy a little handheld, yeah. um, you know, again, bigger boats, it's kind of a no-brainer. Everybody's getting chart right. plotters with the, with the side scans and stuff like that. But um, Got to know where you're at. Yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, obviously... If you're out on your boat and if you're in an open boat and you're out in the ocean, wear a life jacket. Nobody cares. This isn't the old and good days where, where you know, when the kids they weren't wearing bicycle helmets. The the inflatable PFDs they make right now are affordable. They're you can get them for about a hundred bucks. Good ones. Mustang makes it for a hundred fifty or so. But 
put a life jacket on, uh, especially if the weather gets adverse. And, and I know you guys. I mean, I, I, I've got a, I've got a center console, and when you're cruising around at 30 miles an hour, you know everything is fine. Things but happen. If you think about it, you know if, if you hit a, a, a submerged conics box, mm-hmm. something that falls off, that boat's going to take a violent turn. And if, if you got somebody not ready to go, um, they end up over the side. You know, especially pre dawn or or, or post sunset. The chances of, of finding the guy, and I don't care. I mean, how many times have you found that kelp patty? Sure. And, and you then lose a, it. as you're reeling especially your jigs, the weather's up. Yeah, and as you're jig, reeling your jigs in, you turn around and you're like, well, where the heck did it go? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah it's that's, true. That's, Same thing with people. That, that's, that, yeah. And, and again, it's just yeah. be safe. Yeah. So well, now uh, on a bigger boat, what about uh, an emergency life raft? Um, are, is, are those essential for, in, for offshore fishing? I, you know, yes. I mean, obviously, the more safety equipment you can put on the boat, the safer you're going to be. Um, the life drafts are very cost prohibitive, uh, as far as you know. But they're worth it. I mean, if if DEFCON five happens, a life raft's the best thing you can have on board. Sure. Um, you hope you never need it. But. Yeah. I mean, I w- I would I would if, if money was if if money wasn't an issue, yes, for sure. If money's tight or you're you're budgeting, you're trying to keep something. You know, I, I would lean towards it. Make sure you have an EPIRB, an actual E-perb. 406 EPIRB on board. Okay. And you should, which is a satellite communicator. Yeah, that, and that's what the PLB is, yeah. which is the personal locator beacon. They're satellite communicators. But right. a 406 e- EPIRB. What about, uh, like, these new devices like a Zaleo that has an SOS? The, the Zaleos, the uh, um, Spots, um, yeah. they're all great. They're, they, they, that is a satellite communicator. So those yeah. would substitute for an EPIRB, sort of? No. 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 You're, you're pu- uh, public and private. Okay. You got a, a government. The EPIRBs are going to are they're going to go right to the right coast to the guard. Coast Guard. Yeah. And the Coast Guard is going to right off right off the bat put uh, UM, UMIBs or, or uh, pom pons out right. for problems. What does pon pon mean? It's a uh, pon pon is a saying that the Coast Guard says basically it's an emergency. If you hear pon 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 pon, there's something going down that the Coast Guard is focusing 100 percent of their time on. Gotcha. Um, okay. But that being said. As soon as that as soon as that EPIRB goes off, um, the Coast Guard is going to start putting notices out, mm-hmm. and and that's going to put people out on Just putting things into yeah. motion, right? And that's, versus versus if you had a Zolio and you're in the water, you still it could take a while. It, 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 it's it's just a little bit more of a process. Yeah, and they're great products. Yes. They, they yeah, really you're not are. saying anything yeah. negative about it. I but. actually tested the Spot product when I was doing some Rescue Twenty One driving cross country. And Boat US was helping out. And they were literally tracking me driving like through the, you know, they, they were seeing how it was working. And uh-huh. They're great. They're great products. The other thing is, if you're on, if you're on the boat, keep a radio on channel 16. If you, if you want to listen to your fishing channel, put it on dual watch. Uh, keep a radio on 16 because you may be the closest guy right. to somebody that needs to get off their boat really quick. And you don't have to, you don't have to try and save the boat. Just get the people off the boat or, or, or um, you know, maybe somebody falls overboard. Maybe there's a, you know, somebody needs a, a, you know, a first aid kit and you happen to have one, but just keep one on 16. The Coast Guard may be calling because your wife wants to know where the heck you're at because they call us. We get 50 calls a weekend on their husbands on, and well, they were supposed to be back. Keep a radio on 16. So when we howl out to you, we can tell your wife what's going on. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's That's jump great. back in the phone. You got it. Well, they're packed up. Jack from Ontario up next on Let's Talk Cookup. What's up, Jack? Thanks for joining us. Hey, Rick. Good morning, everybody. Mr. Rob, hey, I, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, my question is why wouldn't you want insurance on the water? I don't even own a boat, and that's like, why wouldn't you do it? It's stupid no if you don't. Yeah. No sure. brainer. It would well, boggle your mind how many people don't have it. I got. I just want to say thank you guys. Uh, I went on my first three-day trip two weeks ago. I met Rick. I met Doug. You know that I've heard on the radio for years and years and years. Caught a 125 pounder, my best fish ever in my whole life, and I've been fishing since I was five years old off the Pismo Pier. And I just want to thank you guys for uh, for helping me do it. Well, that's awesome, buddy. Congratulations on a on a heck of a fish. That's great. We're stoked for you. Yeah, thanks for the call too, and thanks for being a long time listener. Let's talk hookup and uh, don't come out. Get get out there and go get fishing again. They're still out there. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Congrats. Hey, I wanted to read another fun text. This one was: How does the Towboat US app work, um, or is it still better to just use VHF channel seventy eight? That's from Greg and Carpinteria. 
Well, channel 78 is a working channel. Channel 16 is your hailing and distress channel. So whatever you do, start off on hailing channel 16. Um, we have radio high, tower, high side, so I'm getting one. Uh, we're getting a brand new one put into uh, Mount Miguel right now. Um, but call on channel 16. That way, if you if we don't catch the call, the Coast Guard will. Mm -hmm. If we if you call for towboat U.S. and we don't answer after a couple times, just hail the Coast Guard. Say, hey, I'm broke down. Can you get towboat U.S. for me? Um I see. I didn't even know that that was you know you could do yeah. that. So the app, so, so. the app is king. Um, this is an app world. Uh, you download this app. You can enter all of your information, all your membership information, including your home slip or your. You have different choices. There's like four different choices where you want to be towed. Um, and then if you need a tow, you just hit. I need a tow. It turns digital from there. Uh, Bo, uh, Geico has built us an app, our private app. And what happens is this digital thing takes your information right off your phone, already knows where you are through the ping on your phone. Wow. Has all no of your kidding. information. Before you actually talk to somebody, it will actually send us a case for us to say, okay, this guy is at this location. We look at the case, what it is, where it is. We actually accept the case and then give an ETA. The uh, app turns around, sends the information back to you, saying we'll have a captain come in within 60 minutes. The first call you get is going to be my captain on the way out to you. So wow. all this is pending cell coverage. In pending, order for this to work, coverage. you have exactly. to be within right. cell coverage. Exactly. So that's why you still have to have that VHF, VHF radio. VHF radio. So yeah. what if you're not sure you're in cell coverage? Still call on, on channel 16? Oh, you got your phone in front of you. I mean, if, if, yeah. your, if your Spotify shuts off, you're not going to be able to call for both U.S. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, if, if, if uh, you have your phone in front of you, the app opens. And again, you know, texting usually works better than cell signal. So sometimes just pushing a button, getting that text in will work better than um, a the phone call. Yeah, yeah, the actual connection. And, and again, you don't have to worry about once you hit call for a tow and it'll, 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 it'll respond to you. You've been pinged by Boat US. Now we know you're out there. Mm -hmm. If we lose comms on that, they're going to try and call you. If we can't call you, we're going to get the Coast Guard and then they'll hail for you. Um, and just so you, we're non-emergency. If anything looks even the slightest bit, uh, like we're talking about the guy that had his kids out in that rough day. Right. I guarantee you that Alamitos, uh, Toby U.S. Alamitos, first thing they did was call the lifeguards, Harbor Police, and Coast Guard. We're on our way out, but this is going yeah, down I'm because sure. at the end of the day, an emergency is an emergency. Yes. And calling for us is good. If you're in a position where you're drifting and you're getting close to rocks, call the Coast Guard. And the Coast Guard should be the first call because they can call us, they can call the Harbor Police, they can call lifeguards. They can you know, they could call, they have assets, they know where every asset is. And where they're staged, you know, as far as where they normally are, that's your first stage. If it's if you're out in the middle of the ocean, you need to call us. But if there's if you're if it's marginal, call the Coast Guard. Okay, so after the show, since I'm a towboat U.S. member, I'm going to download the app because I don't have it. Oh, yeah, so that, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. essential, right? Same. Yeah, it, yeah. It's awesome. It really is because uh, it, you know it'll tell you exactly where you're at. Like if you call us directly, like if you're on the VHF radio and you're talking to us. You can look at the app. It's going to give you your lat long right there. Um, it's amazing how many people can't find the lat long on a brand new chart plotter. Yeah. Or they, you know, they touch a screen and next thing you know, oh, yeah, yeah. We're, run <laughs> we're running to the islands when he's fishing the nine mile bank. Yeah. So, no, but it, and it, it, it's convenient and, uh, and it's fast. Yeah. yeah. Let's try and sneak one more in. You got it. How about we talk to Bob calling us from Lakeside this morning. Bob, thanks for joining us on Let's Talk Cook. I've got a quick one for us. Yeah, just a quick one. Um, I was fascinated that uh, you offer freshwater uh, service. How does that work when you're on, let's just say, the Colorado River? I mean, do you contact, contract with boats for all of the local lakes and, and, and rivers and such? Um, but, um, Total U.S. has 400 providers, 400 different ports throughout the United States. Um, quite honestly, there's some areas, you know, small lakes, like San Diego, for instance. We don't have any coverage in any of our lakes because half of them don't allow boats. Um, they're going to be more sustainable lakes. Where the coverage comes into play is uh, even municipalities are allowed to tow for to uh, charge for towing. They have certain bylaws and stuff. If you have to pay for a tow, even if there isn't a tow U.S. responder in the area, um, you can seek reimbursement, and you're covered with that coverage with your membership. Um, lake, lake Mead and Lake Powell, uh, they're, they're federal lakes. And unless there's a concession for a tow company up there, and it may not be Towboat U.S., it just may be, you know, Armark Towing or something. 
you have coverage on those lakes. But, but on your towboat U.S. membership. Membership, yes. Now, there's certain places, like I believe Lake Powell, uh, where boat, like if you call dispatch, the dispatch will get a hold of somebody there if they have a provider. they got to have a provider, provider listed. If there's a provider listed, they can make payment arrangements for direct billing. Um, but, you know, quite honestly, when you're on the Colorado River, you, half the time we don't know where the where there's water in the river. I'm going to meet Sunday, and I'm just glad there's enough to put the houseboat on it. But, yeah. uh, um, no, if, if you have to pay for service, the coverage covers you with that. Okay. That's great, That's man. That's good. I dig it's it. like a full, go, full coverage for... Go full. buy a membership. Yeah. Period. If this two hours wasn't enough for you, man, yeah. that's it. Yeah. All right. Hey, when we come back, we're going to find out who's going fishing on board the San Diego out of Seaforth. You stay tuned. More Let's Talk Hookup coming your way on the Let's Talk Hookup app in the Mighty Year 1090. If you're looking for a high-quality cocktail that's also easy to enjoy on your next fishing trip, check out Cutwater Spirits' lineup of canned cocktails. Cutwater's master distiller and co-founder, Yusuf Cherney, is a hardcore fisherman. In fact, he developed Cutwater with all his favorite adventures in mind. Yusuf takes Cutwater's award-winning spirits, uses them to make real cocktails, and then puts them into cans so you can take them anywhere. It's like they were made for fishing because they were actually made for fishing. Check out their popular canned margarita made with real tequila, the zesty vodka mule or the spicy bloody mary which has some serious bite they also make super refreshing vodka sodas and grapefruit lime and cucumber flavors just crack the can and enjoy a bar quality cocktail even when there's no bar in sight back at the dock or at your evening anchorage in catalina cutwater cocktails are exactly what you need for your next fishing trip you can check out all 18 of cutwater's canned cocktails at cutwaterspirits.com and then look for them at your local liquor store then go ahead and set your cocktail free please enjoy responsibly this is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the long-range vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the long-range fishing experience. Spring 8-day, summer 5-day, or a fly-down, fly-back, 11-day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality long-range voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top-of-the-line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at royalstarsportfishing.com or call Tracy at 619-224-4764. Don't give up on finicky fish and light bites. The secret to getting more bites is thinner leader for more natural presentations. That's where Seaguar Gold Label Leader Material shines. It's Seaguar's thinnest leader material yet. 18% thinner and 17% stronger than any other Seaguar leader. That means it's even less visible underwater and creates more natural presentations for better catch rates on leader shy fish. With exceptional knot and tensile strength, this advanced leader material has been proven all season long on finicky tuna as big as 100 pounds on 40 pound tests. Get Seaguar Gold Label at your favorite tackle dealer or learn more at Seaguar.com. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, CalSTAR. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod at the finest ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the CalSTAR West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend CalSTAR at fine tackle stores everywhere. Welcome! Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. All right, it's time. The big winner of that trip on the San Diego, a full day trip out of C4 Sport Fishing going to Todd in Costa Mesa. Todd, congratulations. You're going to love fishing with Matt and Ryan. Yes, you are. And uh, Rob's ready to go to adventure and camping, right? <laughs> yeah. Ready to go to Eastern Sierra? Wow, I yeah. can't. Yeah. That sounds too cool, doesn't it? I, if I wasn't going to meet, I'd literally be booking a trip. Right I mean, now. that's what I want yeah, to do. It's a cool yeah, spot. I'm, You'll I'm dig trying it. Trying to figure out how I can go for sure. Hey, of course, uh, Tobo US. Uh, Great service and something we talked about. We just scratched the surface on so many different things that you guys do. If somebody wants to become a member, how, uh, how do we do it? Uh, two different ways to do it. Go on towboatussandiego.com or go down to West Marine, buy it through West Marine. Um, you can go on our Facebook page, uh, Tobo US San Diego Facebook page. There's a, a click sign up here or call 619-672-5918. All right. One more quick story. One more quick story about uh, saving people. About saving people. I gotta know. Well, before I gotta know, uh, there's got to be a good. You took somebody back in having fishing. Those were always my favorite. Like I uh, got bit on the toe in the albacore years. You always used to hear guys that way. You know, like towed back and got the big strike. Okay, we we took a boat in uh, back when the remember when the wahoo kind of popped up. Sure. Okay, and uh, there might have been a blue or two caught deep uh, off San Clemente, and I, I can't confirm any of this. My guy got on scene with a guy, um, oh, just a little southeast of uh, 
Stank. called the Manny. And as he pulled up, I got the picture on my phone. And I used to I was I used to fish in Mexico. I've seen blue marlin before. And he pulled a, looked like a 300-plus-pound fish. He was getting it on the boat. While you were getting ready to tow him? While we are getting ready to tow him. <laughs> wow. And uh, I... People were saying it was a striver. I, I've seen the fish before. It looked like a little blue. I mean, That's I, it cool. may not have been 300 pounds, but it looked like a little blue. It but, was a big fish. Yeah. And, and then the guy got towed home. Yeah. And, we, and when we tow, we tow at trolling speed. And we've stopped. Uh, have you stopped? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah you guys yeah. are fishing. If, if your boat's broke, your day is already ruined. If you can catch a fish on the way in and little, just make the day a <laughs> little bit better. better. Yeah. You know, other than bringing you cold beer, which we're not allowed to do, <laughs> at least you get the fish. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, right? But you can bring fuel. You can bring parts. Fuel. Can, yeah. yeah uh, fuel. Um, parts. If, if you can if you could fix it and then we can get it out to you and we can get it and then we can attain it easily. Right. Um, uh, propellers if you spin a hub. Um, and then jump starts. Yeah. yeah. All that stuff. Yeah. It's like, like, covered. Yeah, like, what is the number one thing? Don't trust your fuel gauge. Don't, yeah. tr- don't okay. trust your fuel gauge and don't trust your batteries over three years old. All right. That's good advice. Well, hey, Rob, great job and uh, be safe out there. And hey, tomorrow, what a great show. Captain Fred Huber from the Daily Double and Steve Peterson from the Mission Bell. A couple of great guys with great fishing stories. Tomorrow morning, 7 to 9 a.m. Thanks to Christian for manning the phones and the board. Thanks to Adam for manning the app. And we'll see you tomorrow morning right back here on the Mightier 1090. And the Let's Talk will come back. <laughs>